Hi guys, today I'm going to read Tooth Trouble. This is like a, one of my favorite books because it's so cute. And it kind of teaches a life lesson too at the same time. Wilbur and his mother were crunching their way through a huge pile of shellfish. Ow, said Wilbur, my tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Mrs. Walrus said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. My tusk only hurts when I crunch, said Wilbur. If I take off the shells, I can just slurp them. Have some seaweed, Mrs. Walru said Mrs. Walrus. It's nice and soft. Ugh, said Walter. I, Wilbur, I don't want to eat seaweed. It's green and slimy. Then you'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Walrus. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Wilbur's friends were tusk wrestling. Wilbur loved tusk wrestling. He locked tusks with his friend Walter. Womp. Ow, yelled Wilbur. My tusk hurts. Walter said, you'll have to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. My tusk only hurts when I wrestle, said Wilbur. Let's play on the ice slide with Wanda. Wee! Wanda, Wilbur, and Walter swooped down the slide. Splash! They somersaulted into the sea. That was great! Let's do it again, Walter said. Walter poked his tusk into the ice and pulled himself up onto the ice floe. Wanda poked her tusk into the ice and pulled herself up on the ice floe. Wilbur poked his tusk into the ice and... Ow! said Wilbur. My tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Wanda said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. I'll swim to Grandpa's, Wilbur said. It's easy to get out there. He's got a landing slope. It was a long way to Grandpa's. Wilbur's tusk hurt in the cold water. He pulled himself up Grandpa's slope, landing slope and laid there moaning. said Grandpa. He put his slipper around Wilbur's shoulders and helped him up onto the ice floe. What's the matter? My tusk hurts, Wilbur wailed. His whiskers quivered. You'll have to go to the dentist, Grandpa said. I don't want to go to the dentist, Wilbur said. Grandpa smiled. Neither did I, he said. Mrs. Walrus waddled up the landing slip toward them. Walter and Wanda said, said I'd find you here, she said. Is your tusk still hurting? Yes, said Wilbur. I'll have to go to the dentist. Finally, said Mrs. Walrus. Dr. Tusker, the dentist, was very gentle. I'll see what, I see what the problem is, she said. You've got a piece of shell stuck in the top of your tusk. There, I've taken it out. That feels much better, said Wilbur. If you brush your tusks twice a day with this special fish-flavored toothpaste, your tusks will be strong and shiny, said Dr. Tusker. She gave Wilbur a sticker. It said, I brush my tusks. Wow, said Grandpa, I wish I had tusks like yours. Dr. Tusker will, will make you a false tusk, said Wilbur. You have to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Grandpa. Tsk, tsk, said Wilbur. He put his flipper around Grandpa's shoulder. If I can go to the dentist, so can you. the end i hope you guys like that and i will see you next time bye